Yo guys, welcome to our channel. The channel is Nazvin Network. Yes, Nazvin Network is our channel. That's the name for our channel. We've been away for some time, but now we're back with a bang. Guys, if you are not subscribed, and can you subscribe, more and more videos coming up. We had some technical challenges, but now we are here to uh, teach, share matters health, which affect our daily life. Today we have a very interesting topic. Yes, what happens when you don't have sex for long? What happens when you don't have sex for long? And when I talk about this, I don't... Yo guys, welcome to our channel. The channel is Nazvin Network. Yes. Nazvin Network is our channel. That's the name for our channel. We've been away for some time, but now we're back with a bang. Guys, if you are not subscribed, and can you subscribe, more and more videos coming up. We had some technical challenges, but now we are here to uh, teach, share matters health, which affect our daily life. Today we have a very interesting topic. Yes, what happens when you don't have sex for long? What happens when you don't have a sex for long? And when I talk about this, I don't mean about those people who are not married, who are kids. I'm talking about the adults, especially those who are married, and those who have sexual partners. So on the age, keep off, adults, welcome on this topic for discussion. Going without sex for an extended period of time can also have different effects on your body, emotions, and the relationship. But the impact uh, widely depends on a lot of uh, uh, personal circumstances, lifestyle, and also health. The possible, the possible effects, number one, is about physical, and the, especially the physical health. On the physical health is a reduced sexual desire. Over time, some people may feel a natural reduction in sexual desire at the same time. For others, uh, though abstinence may also increase their libido. Number two is about when, when we talk about the physical health, we're talking about uh, vaginal dryness and tightness in the women especially. Uh, for after menopause, lack of uh, the sexual activity can lead to reduce the vaginal replication and elasticity which can make intercourse to be uncomfortable if and uh, they may resume it at the end of the day. Possible po prostate health is also another effect, for, especially for men. Regular ejaculation may have some benefits for prostate health. Though the research is mixed, there is no confirmatory research over the same. So, uh, long-term abstinence does not necessarily lead to prostate problems or issues, but some studies suggest regular ejaculation may increase or may, or may lower the risk of the prostate uh, cancer especially. So, it is not uh, conclusive, but uh, regular ejaculatory ejaculation, it helps in your prostate health. Number two, on the mental and emotional health, so stress and mood, sexual activity reduces the endorphins and also or the oxytocin. These are special hormones which improve the mood and reduce the stress at the end of the day and increase the uh, feeling of uh, well-being at the end of the day. So lack of sex might mean missing out on these benefits, though exercise and other activities can, lead, uh, can uh, reduce or relieve uh, stress and also boost the mood, self-esteem and confidence. Some people may experience uh, reduced self-esteem or a sense of uh, loneliness when uh, one is engaging in this. So others may feel this way and instead of feeling empowered or focus on the personal uh, growth. Reduced bonding and intimacy. Physical intimacy can promote emotional bonding in a relationship, especially of uh, the partners. So couples who abstain for a long period of time might find the need to find other ways to maintain closeness and also connection. Physical fitness and sleep. Exercise and sleep benefits. So sex can serve as a form of a light exercise, 
increasing heart rate and also circulation at the end of the day. It also helps to promote a better sleep. Uh, without sex, people can still achieve this benefit through regular exercise and other health uh, sleep habits. Immune system. On the immune function, some studies suggest that regular sexual activity gave a slight boost to the immune system, possibly due to the release of certain hormones and physical uh, benefits. However, the immune system is complex and also lack of sex uh, doesn't necessarily weaken it. On number five, about the reproductive health. So fertility for women, ovulation and menstruation uh, continue as normal regardless of the sexual activity. So abs abstinence in women generally doesn't have effect on the fertility. For men, they may be have gradual decline in sperm motility and count if they, have, uh, they get to abstain for a longer period of time. But this typically uh, rebounds with the ejaculation. Sexual and performance is also another factor where the erectile function in some men prolonged ab ab abstinence may uh, lead to slight decline in erectile function over time. So regular erection, uh, uh, even for non-sexual arousal, such as during sleep, can help maintain the penile tissue health and also However, these effects can vary widely depending on an individual. Lowered sexual tension. In some cases, not having regular sexual experience may reduce sexual fr frustrations or anxiety around performance, especially if someone is focused on personal uh, goals at the end of the day. And also effects on relationship. So potential relationship strain is expected for couples and extended period of abstinence can sometimes uh, create tension at the end of the day. Uh, especially if partners feel uh, a stronger need of sexual uh, connection than others. Honest communication and finding ways to maintain the intimacy can be very helpful and also for overall abstaining from sexual typically lead to severe health issues and often people can adapt to different ways uh, of managing it. So generally abstaining from sexual typically doesn't lead to any severe illness. So men find ways to connect, handle stress, and also stay healthy physically and emotionally during these periods without uh, sexual activity. How do you manage these kind of uh, problems uh, if you get to experience them? If you are abstaining especially from the sexual activity for an extended period of time, whether by choice or circumstances, uh, like uh, when you are sick, there are ways to manage potential effects on physical, mental, and also emotional health. Here are some of the strategies which you can employ on the physical health and well-being. Regular exercise is very important. Where physical activity can boost mood, reduce stress, and provide many of our other uh, physical benefits associated with the sexual activity, and also such as to improve the circulation and also maintain the heart health. Maintaining pelvic health is very key for women. Regular Kegel exercise can help to strengthen the pelvic floor muscles which can support the vaginal health and reduce the risk of dryness and also tightness if when sexual activity resumes. For men, Kegel exercise also can be very beneficial for men by helping maintaining bladder control and also erectile function at the end of the day. Practice self-pleasure, especially uh, that those who are forget for masturbation is a healthy way to relieve the sexual tension, promote, to promote the relaxation and support blood flow to the pelvic area. It can also help to reduce the anxiety around uh, future sexual performance. Mental and emotional health is also is how, as a, uh, how can you manage it. You get to manage your stress and also boost mood by activities like meditation, yoga and also mindfulness which can help reduce the stress and improve your mood. The endorphins and the relaxation from these practices can mimic some of the mental uh, health benefits of uh, sex. Stay connected with your loved ones is very key because human touch and also social connections are very important for mental health. Even if an ancestral spending time with your friends, hugging family friend members and also fostering close relationships can boost oxytocin reducing loneliness and also promoting emotional well-being at the end of the day. Focus on self-care, prioritizing your self-care routines, hobbies and also passions can help improve your self-esteem 
and keep you mentally engaged. This can be a special help if you are feeling down or missing uh, benefits of sexual intimacy. Maintaining, uh, maintaining intimacy in relationship is very key, where your communication with your partner is very key. If you are in a relationship, talk openly about how you are both uh, feeling about the lack of the sexual activity due to, due to some reason. Honest communications uh, gets to help maintain emotional closeness and also ensure that the, any concerns are addressed as a, appropriate. So non-sexual intimacy, spend quality time with engaging in physical touch, like hugging, holding hands, cuddling. Non-sexual affection can help maintain intimacy and also connection, even without the sexual activity. Consider counseling also. If abstinence is affecting your relationship, consider speaking with your therapist or the counselor. The couple's therapy can be, supportive, can, can be a supportive environment to discuss issues related to intimacy at the end of the day and find ways to connect as appropriate. On managing sexual desire and frustration, mindfulness techniques, practicing mindfulness and meditation can help you manage any frustration or desire. By focusing on the present moment, you can le learn to redirect or release those feelings and also without adding any, with any, added, uh, any added stress. Self-discovery and learning is very key. Use this time to learn about your own body and preferences which empower and which can help prepare you for future intimacy. Channel your energy, engage in fulfilling activities like hobbies, creative outlets or physical exercise. Uh, putting energy into uh, other interests can be a constructive way to manage any frustrations and also which can come from abstinence. Protecting reproductive and also sexual health is also another thing. We are regular healthy checkups is very key. Keep up regular checkups and screening for reproductive health, including pelvic exams for women and prostate exams for men. So staying on top of the health will help catch any potential issues early. Also pelvic floor exercises like the Kegel exercises and other pelvic uh, uh, exercises like squats and oral pilots can also help maintain pelvic floor health and flexibility which can be handy at that particular point. Accepting and embracing their abstinence is also another factor which can be considered. So shift perspective where you recognize abstinence can be a positive period of growth and self-reflection where it may be a time to focus on yourself, set goals or explore interests. Accept fluctuations in desires. Desire naturally changes over time and it's normal to have ups and downs. Try to accept uh, the shifts as part of your experience without uh, any self-charging at the end of the day. Overall, managing and also extending the period of abstinence is all about uh, staying physically and mental health and also maintaining the intimacy if you are in a relationship. Embracing the perspectives uh, on connection and also well-being is, is, a, is a key component in the management of uh, the abstinence the sexual abstinence at the end of the day. Sometimes we have complications related to long-term abstinence from general, uh, general but generally it, it doesn't uh, cause serious complications but they may lead to few physical, emotional, relationship effects for some individuals and some of those potential of these potential uh, complications which may have one, especially on the number one is about physical health complications where you have vaginal dryness and also uh, tightness for women because of the prolonged abstinence, especially post menopause, can lead to vaginal dryness and also reduce the elasticity. This can make future sexual activity uncomfortable, though it is, uh, it is manageable. Uh, with pelvic uh, exercises, lubrication, and also staying hydrated or taking a lot of water, drinking a lot of water. Reducing the erectile function, some men may experience gradual decrease in erectile function, though this varies very widely. Regular erections are very important for blood flow to the penile tissue, and lack of the sexual activity might affect the performance over time. So though this can often be managed by with exercises and also uh, check up. On the psychological complications and emotional, we have increased stress anxiety uh, where with the, without the endorphins and the oxytocin hormones which are released during the sexual act, some people might feel high, uh, high levels of stress and also anxiety 
Physical intimacy, including sex, often helps to reduce the tension. So prolonged abstinence may increase the stress and also in some individuals. Lowered self-esteem, lack of the sexual activity may impact uh, the self-esteem of an individual. So especially if it affects uh, how someone perceives and also their attractiveness or connection to a partner, this often temporarily feeling that which can be managed through the self-care and also communication. Loneliness and emotional isolation, for some, Sex is a form of emotional closeness and connection, so abstinence might lead to feelings of loneliness, especially if it is not a personal choice. Relationship strain. In a relationship, prolonged abstinence can sometimes cause strain. If, distance, it, uh, if there's distance, which can lead in the reduction of the physical intimacy and also closeness. Lack of physical connection may cause tension, misunderstandings particularly if one partner desires more sex more than the other. Frustration and resentment. A prolonged period without sex, especially when it is unintended, it may cause frustrations, and also especially if in a relationship, this can sometimes lead to resentment, if not openly discussed, and also managed by both partners. Potential health risks can also be, uh, be, be seen there. Increased risk of certain uh, prostate conditions, such as uh, some suggest, uh, studies suggest, uh, when you don't ejaculate for some time, your yeah, prostate conditions, such as uh, prostate cancer, you can be predisposed to it, though it is not confirmatory. Abstinence does not directly cause uh, the, these issues but may be one of the many factors involved at the end of the day and we can't ignore it. Immune systems effects. While regular sexual activity may slightly boost immune, going without its general doesn't severely weaken the immune system. However, the lack of endorphin release might, might cause some people to have fatigue and also to look stressed and indirectly affect the day. Another complication is about the decline in libido where lower sexual desire comes up over time. So some individuals may experience reduced interest in uh, sex if they are not engaging regular, regularly. This effect varies widely uh, and it's open on a personal factors, hormonal levels and also the mental health. Impact on the sexual uh, activity and the confidence. We have performance anxiety after a long period without the sexual experience. Some people may feel anxious or uncertain about their sexual uh, performance at the end of the day. This often temporarily but can lead is often temporarily but can lead to self doubt or performance uh, concerns, which sometimes can lead to physical symptoms like erectile dysfunction. Guys, most of the complications uh, from long term abstinence are minor and can be managed through self care, open communication in relationship and regular health checkups. Many people go through periods of abstinence without long-term effects and find staying physically and emotionally active uh, can reduce these impacts at the end of the day. On the prevention part of it, to prevent potential complications related to prolonged abstinence, focusing on the physical health, emotional well-being and maintaining intimacy within a relationship can be very, help you, uh, uh, very helpful. And here are the strategies to employ on the profession. Number one, for maintaining physical health, exercise, like I mentioned, is very important. Regular exercise can provide the health benefits of which uh, sex activity can provide. We said uh, sex is a form of uh, uh, is a form of an exercise. So we, this can can, uh, can act as a stress reliever, improve blood circulation and uh, also improve our or heart health at the end of the day. Practice pelvic floor exercises for women, Kegel exercise, they strengthen the pelvic floor muscles which improve the vaginal elasticity and reduce the risk of dryness and tightness. For men, the Kegel exercise can also help maintain bladder control and support erectile function. Staying hydrated and also eat a balanced diet is very key. Proper hydration, nutrition, support, general, and also can help maintain the libido and overall well-being of an individual. Protect the reproductive health. 
Regular health checkups is very key where your routine checkups with the healthcare provider can catch any reproductive health issues. Women should uh, schedule regular pelvic floor uh, pelvic exams and the men should consider prosthetic uh, screening as they age. So consider also, the, there is also consideration on masturbation is a safe way to relieve the sexual tension and maintain blood flow to the pelvic area and reduce the anxiety around future sexual performance. Also manage stress and boost mood. Practice stress relief activities. Regular activities like mindfulness, meditation and yoga can reduce the stress and also anxiety, providing mental health benefits similar to those of sexual activities. So focus on hobbies and interests. Engaging in uh, activities we enjoy can be a great way to relate to channel energy and also reduce the stress, especially if the sexual frustration is an issue. Stay connected with the loved ones. Prioritize the emotional connection. Spending quality time with friends and family, engaging in meaningful conversations can really help loneliness and also uh, create a sense of uh, closeness. Seek out uh, physical attention, non-sexual non -sexual touch like hugging, cuddling can increase the oxytocin levels, help to reduce the stress and improve the mood at the end of the day. Maintaining intimacy in relationship, uh, this is like by having open communication. If you are in a relationship, talk openly with your partner about your, uh, your, your feelings. Uh, both of your, your feelings, honest communication can work very well to maintain the closeness and also ensure that all concerns are addressed. Practice non-sexual intimacy where engaging in non-sexual touch such as hold and holding, cuddling or, message, or messages. This practice can strengthen the emotional bonds even without the sexual activity at the end of the day. Seek professional help if needed. So if, abstinence, if the abstinence is affecting your relationship, consider seeing a therapist or a counselor to work through any challenges and maintain emotional closeness. Boost self-esteem. So focus on self-care. Prioritize self-care routines, exercise and engage in activities that make you feel confident and also fulfilled. Accept fluctuations in desire. Understand that the libido can naturally change over time, that the abstinence may affect it. So accept these, these changes without charging Judgment, which can reduce the any pressure or anxiety around the sexual activity. Prevent potential uh, complications. Maintain the regular sexual uh, um, erection for men. Erection during sleep and uh, self-pressure may uh, of the penile may so that are also can generally benefit can benefit men. Use of replicants for women and can also help to maintain the vaginal health, especially the issue of the vaginal dryness. Uh, when it is an issue at that particular point, maintain active lifestyle. Keep mentally engaged, where you stay mentally active through learning or engaging in hobbies that can reduce the impact of any frustration or tension at the end of the day. So those are very key guys, so so that you channel your energy in a very uh, keep in a positive way. You channel your energy constructively, so that you, especially in the hobbies which you like so that uh, you may get uh, uh, that uh, benefit of preventing the side effects of the abstinence part of it. To manage potential effects of long-term abstinence, guys, focus on maintaining physical, emotional, relational health. Regular exercise, especially the Kegel exercise and the balanced diet, also support physical uh, well-being, while mindfulness and hobbies reduce the stress and boost the mood at the end of the day. Stay connected with your loved ones, especially your partners. Self-care is very key so that you preserve your self-esteem and prevent relationship strain. Regular health checkups, don't forget that. And personal hygiene also protects your reproductive health. These strategies can help well maintain your health and also maintain your well-being during the abstinence period as you prepare for future intimacy. Guys, welcome. The channel is Nazvin Network. Kindly, if you have not subscribed, I want to encourage you to subscribe, like the video, share it widely. This way we get to talk matters medical in a simple language which you can always understand. And we always get to talk about things which affect our lives directly. Guys,
welcome to our next big video peace guys